Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, we're going to cover 104 real exam question answers for BL600 Microsoft Power Platform Solution Architect exam. So before going to the question answers, we request you to kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already a subscriber. And these question answers PDF is also available to download from shapingpixel.com website. The full link will be in the description. So let's jump on to the questions. Question number one, a large company experiences high staff turnover rate. As a result, the company must add or remove multiple system users accounts daily. You need to recommend a security concept which will facilitate complex security profiles to entities for large groups of users across the Power Apps and Dynamics 365 applications. What should you recommend? And we have four options. Option A, hierarchy security. Option B, field level security, option C, user access management, and option D, team privileges. So the right answer here is option D, team privileges. So user and team management is the area of Microsoft Dataverse where you can create and maintain users accounts and profiles. A user is any person who works for a business unit who uses Dataverse each user has a user account. A team is a group of users. Teams let users across an organization collaborate and share information. So why use Dataverse? Easy to secure. Data is securely stored so that users can see it only if you grant them access. Rule-based security allows you to control access to tab tables for different users within your organization. Data from your Dynamic 365 applications is also stored into Dataverse, allowing you to quickly build apps that use your Dynamics 365 data and extend your apps with Power Apps. So question number two, you are designing a power platform solution for a company that provides in-home appliance maintenance. When a customer schedules a service appointment, a dispatch assigns one technician for a specific time and location. The solution must capture information about the technician assigned to each appointment and the list of tools that the technician must bring to the appointment. You need to recommend the data type for the captured information. Which data type should you use to answer? Select the appropriate options in the answer area. So each correct selection is worth one point. So the requirements are capture information about the technician assigned to each service appointment and select the tools that the technician must bring to an appointment. So we have the following data type. So the right answer here is, so for capture information about the technician assigned to each service appointment, we have choice. Select the tools that the technician must bring to an appointment, we have choices. Question number three, you are designing a power platform solution. The company wants its development team to adopt the construction of repeatable components for its implementation team to reuse on different entities and firms. You need to recommend a technology that meets these requirements. Which technology would you recommend the developers adopt to assist the implementation team? And we have four options, JavaScript, Power Apps Component Framework Control, Web Resource, Canvas App. So the right answer here is option B, Power Apps Component Framework Control. Power Apps Component Framework empowers professional developers and app makers to create code components for model driven and canvas app to provide enhanced user experience for the users to work with data on forms, views, and dashboards. Question number four, 
a company uses manual processes to track interactions with customers. The company wants to use Power Platform to improve productivity. The company has the following requirements. Provide customers with an online portal where they can submit and review cases. Ensure that customers can chat online with a customer service representative at any time. Route chats to customer service representatives based on skill and availability. You need to recommend a solution to the company. Which three components should you recommend? Each correct answer represents parts of the solution. Each correct selection is worth one point. And we have five options. Option A, Dynamics 365 Virtual Agents Chatbots. Option B, Customer Self-Service Portal. Option C, Dynamics 365 Field Service. Option D, Business Process Flows. And option E, Omni-Channel for Customer Service. So the right answer here is option B, customer self-service portal. And option D, business process flows. And option E, omni-channel for customer service. Question number five. A company uses two separate unlinked apps to manage sales leads, a Power Apps app and a third party application. The client has the following requirements. Manage all leads by using the Power Apps app. Create a lead in the Power Apps app when a user creates a lead in the third party application. Update leads in the Power Apps app when a user updates a lead in the third party application. Connect to the third party application by using an API. You need to recommend strategies to integrate the Power Apps app and the third party application. Which three options can you use to achieve the goal? Each correct answer represents part of the solution. So each correct selection is worth one point. So we have five options. Dual write, custom connector, data flow, Power Automate Cloud Flow, Data Bus Connector. So the right answer here is option B, Custom Connector. And option D, Power Automate Cloud Flow. And option E, Data Bus Connector. Question number six, a client uses Dynamics 365 sales, Power BI data sets, and Power BI data flows. The Dynamics 365 sales implementation has security roles that restrict data export. You need to ensure that data has the same restrictions in Power BI as it does in Dynamics 365 sales. You need to design the security to avoid sensitive data from being seen. Which two actions should you recommend? Each correct answer represents part of the solution. Each correct selection is worth one point. We have four options. Option A, use Microsoft Database restrictions before setting up the Power BI reports. Option B, limit the role in Dynamic 365 sales to only data allowed so it cannot be exported to Microsoft Excel. Option C, Limit the role and ensure that exporting to Microsoft Excel is not allowed in both Dynamic 365 Sales and Power BI. Option D, share Power BI dashboards only with the users who are supported to see this data. So the right answer here is option C, limit the role and ensure that exporting to Microsoft Excel is not allowed in both Dynamic 365 Sales and Power BI. And option D, share Power BI dashboards only with users who are supported to see this data. Question number seven, you are designing a business continuity strategy for a client 
who has a Microsoft Power Platform solution. The client works with critical data where any data loss creates a high risk. You need to document the rate try process for the stakeholders. Which four actions should you perform in sequence? To answer, move the appropriate actions from the list of actions to the answer area and arrange them in the correct order. So we have the following actions. If the second call is successful, the application continues normally. The application makes a service call to the data center. The application receives an exception after attempting the service call. The application automatically tries the call again. The application redirects calls to an on-premises server. So the right order is the application makes a service call to the data center. The application receives an exception after attempting the service call. The application redirects calls to an on-premises server. If the second call is successful, the application continues normally. Question number eight. You need to recommend methods for assigning security to each group of users. The customer provides the following requirements. Customers need the ability to submit a case through an online portal. Portal must handle 75 concurrent users submitting cases. Service data must be retained for at least six years. You need to determine which requirements are functional or non-functional. Which requirements are functional or non-functional? To answer, drag the appropriate types to the correct requirements. Each type may be used once, more than once, or not at all. You may need to drag and split bar between pans or scroll to view content. And each correct selection is worth one point. So the types we have functional, non-functional. And the so the right type for the requirements are so for the customers need the ability to submit a case through an online portal, functional. Portal must handle 75 current user submitting cases. We have non-functional. Service data must be retained for at least six years. We have non-functional. Question number nine, an animal welfare organization wants to track the movement of wolf packs in a region. Cameras at specific locations capture images when motion is detected within the camera sensors range. Staff upload the images manually to a shared drive and then analyze the images. The organization wants to automate image capture and analysis. The organization has the following requirement. Save captured images in an appropriate location. Analyze saved images by using an image recognition process. Display data in real-time dashboards. You need to recommend the correct technology for the requirements. What should you recommend? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. So each correct selection is worth one point. So the requirements are save captured images in an appropriate location. And we have four options and for analyze saved images by using an image recognition process. So the right technology options are so for save captured images in an appropriate location, we have automated cloud flow. Analyze saved images by using an image recognition process. We have desktop flow and AI builder. Question number 10. You are a power platform consultant for an internet support company. The company lacks a budget to buy third party ISVs or add ons. The company requires a new system that achieves the following. All support issues must come in by email, need to be logged and assigned to the support group. Accounts must synchronize with the parent company or Oracle database. Reports must be sent to the executives on a weekly basis. No custom code will be used in the system. You need to recommend the components that should be configured. Which two components should you recommend? Each correct answer represents part of the solution. 
each correct selection is worth one point. We have four options, Power Virtual Agents, Microsoft Dataverse, Server Side Synchronization, Microsoft Customer Voice. So the right answer here is option B, Microsoft Dataverse. Option C, Server Side Synchronization. Question number 11, you are performing requirements analysis for a customer. The customer provides following requirements. Power platform storage capacity must remain under 100%. Customer service representatives must be sent an email when they are assigned a case. Help desk technicians must be shown an error message when they try to delete a task row. The plug-in pass rate must remain over 99% for the production environment. You need to determine if the requirements are functional or non-functional. Which requirement type should you use? To answer, drag the appropriate requirements types to the correct requirements. Each requirement type may be used once, more than once, or not at all. You may need to drag the split bar between pans to scroll to view content. So each correct selection is worth one point. So the requirement types we have functional, non-functional. So the requirements Power platform storage capacity must remain under 100%. So the right requirement type is non-functional. Customer service representative must be sent an email when they are assigned a case. So the requirement type is functional. Help desk technicians must be shown an error message when they try to delete a task row. The requirement type is functional. The plugin pass rate must remain over 99% for the production environment. The requirement type is non-functional. Question number 12. A company has a website that contains a form named contact us. Data from completed forms is saved to a shared document. An office administrator periodically reviews the document. The office administrator sends new submissions to another employee who creates contacts or updates existing contacts. You need to recommend a solution to automate the process. What should you recommend? We have four options. Option A, Excel Online Connector. Option B, Dynamics 365 Customer Insights. Option C, Dynamics 365 Customer Service. Option D, Dynamics 365 Marketing. So the right answer here is option D, Dynamics 365 Marketing. Question number 13. You need to design a power platform solution that meets the following requirements. Capture data from a row during deletion to be used in an automated process. Use AI to process forms and automate data entry from paper-based forms. Which requirements can be met by using out-of-the-box Power Platform components? Instructions for each of the following statements. Select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. So each correct selection is worth one point. So capture data from a row during deletion to be used in an automated process. So the right option is yes. Use AI to process forms and automate data entry from paper-based forms. The right option is yes. Question Question number 14, a company has a custom based API that is hosted on Azure. You design a Microsoft Power Platform solution to provide the company additional capabilities. You need to integrate the Microsoft Power Platform solution with the AI. What should you recommend? And we have four options, connection reference, custom connector, desktop flow, data gateway. So the right answer here is option B, custom connector. 
A custom connector in Power Platform is a wrapper around a REST API that allows Power Automate or Power Apps to communicate with the REST API. Connectors created in Power Automate are available in Power Apps. Likewise, connectors created in Power Apps are available in Power Automate. Question number 15. You are designing a self-service portal for a company. The portal must meet the following requirements. Customers must be able to submit and review cases. Customers must be able to chat with service representatives in re near real time. Allow service representatives to select cases from queues and use knowledge articles to resolve customer concerns. You need to recommend solutions for the company that do not require custom development. Which three apps or services should you recommend? Each correct answer represents part of the solution. Each correct selection is worth one point. And we have five options. Dynamics 365 field service, Dynamics 365 customer service, Omni channel for customer service, customer insights, customer self-service portal. So the right answer here is option B. Dynamics 365 customer service, option C, Omni channel for customer service, and option E, customer self service portal. Question number 16. A multinational organization uses a single power platform environment. The instance hosts multiple customizations for different users in different region. Users in some region complain about slow load time of the customizations. You need to architect a solution based on the main requirement. What should you recommend? To answer, select the appropriate option in the answer area. Each correct selection is worth one point. So we have the following goals. Divisions actively collaborate on customers. So the right suggestion, suggested solution is single multi-geo instance. And for regions have separate customers but use the same functionality and need global reporting. We have multiple instances in different regions. Power BI for reporting. Regions have separate functionality and customers but need global reporting on data. We have single instance use Microsoft Azure traffic manager question number 17 a company reports the following issues with an existing data management system users cannot search for specific records by using a user friendly id or record identifier. Users occasionally enter data into fields that is not required. The record form displays all fields. Many of the fields are not used. You need to ensure that the Power Platform solution will ensure data quality can be properly maintained. Which component should you use? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Each correct selection is worth one point. So the requirements are Ensure that users can search for specific records by using a unique identifier. Uh, so the right solution for that is automate, auto number column. You must prevent data entry into columns that do not require entry. We have business rule. Question number 18. A new customer asks you to design a solution for a Power Apps app that uses Microsoft Dataverse. The customer wants to keep the service process simple and save on both licensing and development time. You need to recommend solution for the customer. What should you recommend? To answer, drag the appropriate settings to the correct drop targets. Each source may be used once, more than once or not at all. You may need to drag the split bar between pans or scroll to view content. Each correct selection is worth one point. Solutions, Canvas app, model driven app, 
Dynamic 365 customer service. So the right solutions for the scenarios are show the app in Microsoft Outlook, a model driven app, use universal resource scheduling, Dynamics 365 customer service, take notes on a mobile phone and record GPS coordinates automatically. We have Canvas app. Question number 19. You are reviewing a list of businesses requirements submitted by a plumbing company. The company has the following requirements. Send articles to technicians to allow technicians, technicians to help customers resolve issues. Track work progress and inspections at customer sites. Schedule technicians for service appointments. You need to recommend solutions to meet the customer's requirements. What should you recommend? To answer, drag the appropriate solutions to the correct business requirements. Each solution may be used once, more than once, and not at all. You may need to drag the split bar between pans or scroll to view content. So each correct selection is worth one point. So solutions, we have Dynamics 365 Field Service, Dynamics 365 Customer Voice, Dynamics 365 Customer Insights. So the right solutions for the business requirements are send articles to technicians to allow technici technicians to help customers resolve issues we have dynamics 365 customer insights track work progress and inspections at customer sites we have dynamics 365 field service and schedule technicians for service appointments we have dynamics 365 field service Question number 20, you are designing a power platform solution. The company want its development team to create an interactive slider visualization to indicate and filter time frame data that can be used across all of its apps that can be styled and manipulated by using code. You need to recommend a technology that meets these requirements. Which technology would you recommend the developers adapt to assist the implementation team? And we have four options. Web resource, Power Apps, Component Framework Control, JavaScript, Canvas App. So the right answer here is option B, Power Apps, Component Framework Control. Power Apps Component Framework empowers professional developers and app makers to create code components for model driven and Canvas apps. These code components can be used to enhance the user experience for users working with data on forms, views, dashboards, and Canvas app screens. For example, you can replace a column on a form that displays a numeric text value with a dial or slider code component. Question number 21. You are designing a power platform solution for a company. The company issues each employee a tablet device. The company wants to specify the opportunity management process and automate when possible. The company identifies the following requirements. Users must have a visual guide to know which data to enter in each step of the opportunity management process. The system must automatically assign the opportunity to a manager for approval once all the data is entered. The system must notify an assignee each time an opportunity is assigned to them by using push notifications. When a user selects a push notification, the associated opportunity must display. display. You need to recommend the Power Platform component that will meet their requirements. Which three Power Platform components should you recommend? Each correct answer represents part of the solution. Each correct selection is worth one point. And we have five options. Business process flows, power apps, mobile apps, power virtual agents, chatbots, power automate desktop flows, power automate cloud flows. So the right answer here is option A, business process flows. Option B, power apps, mobile apps, and option E, Power Automate Cloud Flows.
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू ए कंपनी इज स्ट्रगलिंग टू गैदर इन साइड फ्रॉम वॉन एंड लॉस्ट ऑपरचुनिटीज यूजर्स मस्ट बी एबल टू एक्सेस द कंपनी सोल्यूशन फ्रॉम मोबाइल एंड डेस्कटॉप डिवाइज द सोल्यूशन मस्ट मीट द फॉलोइंग रिक्वायरमेंट्स ट्रैक ऑपरचुनिटीज एंड रीजन फॉर द विन और लॉस ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन द कॉन्टेक्स ऑफ अदर रिलेटेड डेटा डिस्प्ले डेटा टू यूजर्स एज चार्ट एंड टेबल्स एंड प्रोवाइड ड्रिल थ्रू कैपेबिलिटीज you need to recommend a power platform tool to help the client visualize the data which two technology should you recommend each correct answer represents a complete solution each correct selection is worth 1 point and we have four options power bi power automate power virtual agents power apps so the right answer here is option a power bi and option d power apps So Power BI is a business analytics service by Microsoft. It aims to provide interactive visualizations and business intelligence capabilities with an interface simple enough for end users to create their own reports and dashboards. It is part of the Microsoft Power Platform. And option D, Power BI apps are an easy way for designers to share different types of content at one time. App designers create the dashboards and reports and bundle them together into an app the designers then share or publish the app to a location where you the business user can access it because related dashboards and reports are bundled together it's easier for you to find and install in both the power bi service and on your mobile device after you install an app you don't have to remember the names of a lot of different dashboards or reports because they all together in one app in your browser on your mobile device Question number 23 You are designing a power platform solution you need to identify the non functional requirements for the organization which three non functional requirements should you identify each correct answer represents a complete solution each correct selection is worth 1 point and we have five options option a business rules to identify top customers option b customers maintenance procedures option c usability of business process flows option d time to load forms option e solution regulatory compliance so the right answer here is option b customer maintenance procedures option d time to load forms and option e solution regulatory compliance Question number 24 You are designing a Microsoft Power Platform solution to help a company manage sales leads The solution has the following requirement Ensure that users follow a predefined sales process regardless of the device that employees use to access the app Respond to sales events by using organization defined best practices You need to recommend a component for the app What should you recommend We have four options power automate cloud flow business process flow power automate desktop flow and option d playbook so the right answer here is option b business process flow you can help ensure that people enter data consistently and follow the same steps every time they work with a customer by creating a business process flow For example you might want to create a business process flow to have everyone handle customer service request the same way or to require that people get approval for an invoice before submitting an order business process flows use the same underlying technology as the other process but the capabilities that they provide are very different from other features that use processes Question number 25 A company has an on-premises data warehouse and analytics solution The data warehouse consists of multiple multi-dimensional data cubes representing over 5 years of operational data 
the data warehouse consolidates and normalizes data that is sourced from different 20 different systems. The company plans to replace the existing solution with the Microsoft Power Platform solution that connects to the data warehouse. The company wants to provide analytical information to executes in a Microsoft Teams channel to support business planning. The new solution must meet these requirements. Support the current data warehouse. The solution must support drill through capabilities into the data. Retain at least seven years of historical data. You need to recommend a solution. What should you recommend? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Each correct selection is worth one point. So the requirements are data storage and normalization, visibility to key operational metrics for various team channels. So the right solutions for the requirements are for data storage and normalization, we have Azure Data Lake. And visibility to key operational metrics from various team channels, we have Microsoft Teams integration object. Question number 26, a company provides professional development certifications to technologies around the world. The company uses multiple call centers to support customers. The company plans to implement Dynamic 365 customer service. The company must increase productivity for call center employees. The solution must meet the following requirements. Handle multiple customer interactions at once. Ensure that users can access information from several business applications. Interact with customers by using the following channels, chat, phone calls, email, and online reviews. Implement all functionalities in a single interface. You need to recommend a solution that meets the requirements of the company. What should you recommend? We have four options. Omnichannel for customer service. Option B, live assist for Microsoft Dynamics 365 powered by KFX. Option C, LinkedIn connector. Option D, unified service desk. So the right answer here is option A, omnichannel for customer service. Omnichannel for customer service is a robust application that extends the power of Dynamic 365 customer service to enable organizations to instantly connect and engage with their customers via channels like live chats and SMS. Omnichannel for customer service also provides a modern, customizable, high productivity app that allows agents to engage with customers across different channels. The application offers contextual customer identification, real-time modification, integrated communication, and agent productivity tools like KB integration, search, and case creation to ensure agents are effective. Question number 27. You are designing a Microsoft Power Platform solution for a company. Which component should you recommend? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Each correct selection is worth one point. Question number 28. An organization plans to implement a solution to deliver the complete sales process for its sales teams. The organization does not have any physical barcode scanners. To meet the organization business requirements, the proposed solution must include the following capabilities. Create and qualify leads to contacts, generate codes and convert codes to orders, scan product barcodes as part of the order generation process. You need to recommend a solution to help the organization achieve its business requirements. What should you recommend? We have four options, Dynamics 365 mobile app and a power apps canvas app, Dynamics 365 for phones only, Dynamics 365 customer service and Dynamics 365 sales, unified service desk. So the right answer here is option A, Dynamics 365 mobile app and a power apps canvas app. There is barcode scanner control in Power Apps. The control opens a native scanner on an Android or iOS device. The scanner automatically detects a barcode, a QR code, or a data matrix code when in view. 
use the Dynamics 365 for phones or Dynamics 365 for tables app to run customer engagement apps built on Microsoft Database on your mobile device. Question number 29, you are creating a scope of work document for a solution. You have the following requirements. Track support cases, first response time and resolution time. Include a chat-like interface that allows managers to check the status of cases with minimal manual searching. Allow cases to have multiple different priority levels. You need to include the required Dynamics 365 and Microsoft Power Platform components. Which two components should you include? Each correct answer represents part of the solution. Each correct selection is worth one point. And we have four options. Dynamics 365 Customer Service, Power Virtual Agents, Power BI, Dynamics 365 Customer Voice. So the right answer here is option A, Dynamics 365 Customer Service, and option B, Power Virtual Agents. Question number 30, a car dealership has a custom financing table. You are working with the developer to add a button to a ribbon that displays a hidden section of a form when specific criteria are met. You need to recommend tools and technologies for the developer. Which two tools or technologies should you recommend? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Each correct selection is worth one point. We have four options. Option A, write a business rule. Option B, write a JavaScript code. Option C, use the ribbon workbench. And option D, use the form editor. So the right answer here is option B, write a JavaScript code. And option C, use the ribbon workbench. So client-side scripting using JavaScript is one of the ways to apply custom business process logic for displaying data on a form in a model-driven app. You can use a community tool, a ribbon workbench, to visualize edit ribbons using the UI. Question number 31. You are designing a model-driven app that provides marketing, sales, and service operations to a company. The app must integrate with the following systems and data sources a third-party marketing system for lead generation and website submissions, a Microsoft Excel online file that contains manufacturing data on relevant products, a separate Microsoft Dataverse environment. You need to recommend power automate connectors for the app. Which connector should you recommend? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Each correct selection is worth one point. So data source, we have third-party marketing system, Microsoft Dataverse environment. So the right connector type for the data source are for the third party marketing system, we have connect custom connector and for Microsoft Dataverse environment, we have Microsoft Dataverse. Question number 32, you are designing a solution for a national vehicle repair company. You have the following requirements. Customers must search for vehicle issues by using natural language expressions. Customers must contact a customer support agent as required. You need to recommend a solution. Which two features should you include? Each correct answer represents part of the solution. Each correct selection is worth one point. And we have four options. Power Apps Portal, Power Virtual Agents, Customer Insights, Business Process Flow. So the right answer here is option A, Power Apps Portal. And option B, Power Virtual Agents. Question number 33. You are implementing a solution that includes applications which perform high-value Microsoft Dataverse operations. The 
applications must not experience a loss of functionality or loss of performance due to service protection API limits. You need to evaluate metrics for the service protection API limits. Which three metrics should you evaluate? Each correct answer part of the solution. Each correct selection is worth one point. And we have five options. Option A, amount of API calls made within plugin code. Option B, number of API requests per web server. Option C, amount of execution time that can be used for each connection. Option D, number of concurrent connections per user account. Option E, number of API requests per connection. So the right answer here is option C, amount of execution time that can be used for each connection. Option D, number of concurrent connections per user account. And option E, number of API requests per connection. So question number 34, a client plans to implement Microsoft Power Platform solutions. The client identifies the following requirements for handling opportunities. Users must follow the same set of steps each time they process opportunities. For opportunity with value greater than $20,000, a follow-up date and second contact field must appear on the form. An error message must display if a follow-up date is not within seven days of the opportunity creation date. You need to recommend tools to meet the client requirements. What should you recommend? To answer, track the appropriate tools to the con correct requirement. Each tool may be used once, more than once, or not at all. You may need to drag the split bar between pans or scroll to view content. Each correct selection is worth one point. So the tools we have is business rule, workflows, business process flows. So the right tools for the requirement are, the users must follow the same set of steps each time the process opportunities. We have business process flow. For opportunities with values greater than $20,000, a follow-up date and second contact field must appear on the form. We have business rule. An error message must display if a follow-up date is not within seven days of the opportunity creation date. We have workflows. Question number 35, you are a Microsoft Power Platform architect designing integrations for a project. You have the following integration requirements. Post request to a system that is not always available and limited in its ability to process high volume of messages. Allow peer-to-peer -peer communication between on-premises services and cloud-based model-driven Microsoft Power Platform apps. Stream large volumes of data from the company's website to a live Power BI dashboard, support enterprise level integrations with Dynamic 365 that can be built on a consumption basis. You need to use an Azure service for the integration requirements. Which Azure services should you use? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Each correct selection is worth one point. So the requirements are post request to a system that is not always available and limited to its ability to process high volume of message. We have Azure Service Bus. Allow peer-to-peer -peer communication between on-premises services and cloud-based model-driven Microsoft Power Platform apps. We have Azure Relay. Steam large volumes of data from the company's website will leave uh, live Power BI, Power BI dashboard. We have Azure Event Hubs. Support enterprise level integration with Dynamic 365 that can be built on a consumption basis. We have Azure Functions. Question number 36, you are a Microsoft Power Platform architect reviewing requirements for an offline shopping app. You need to identify requirement types for the app. How should you categorize the requirements? To answer, 
drag the appropriate types to the correct requirements. Each type may be used once, more than once, or not at all. You may need to drag the split bar between pans or scroll to view content. Each correct selection is worth one point. So the categories we have functional, non-functional. So let's see the right categories for the requirements are. The app must automatically send a confirmation email to a customer when they place an order. We have functional. Credit card numbers must be encrypted. We have non-functional. Question number 37. You are designing a Microsoft Power Platform solution. The solution requires Microsoft Power Platform components and custom coding. You need to describe the benefits of using Microsoft App Source. Which are the three benefits of App Source? Each correct answer represents a complete solution. Each correct selection is worth one point. And we have five options. Option A, app uptime of at least 99.9%. .9%. Option B, Azure Active Directory Federated Single Sign-On. Option C, Microsoft Standardized License Agreement and Privacy Policy. Option D, reduced coding efforts because anyone can publish in app source. Option E, free trial before committing to any additional cost. So the right answer here is option C, Microsoft standardized license agreement and privacy policy. And option D, reduced coding effort because anyone can publish in app source. And option E, free trial before committing to any additional costs. Question number 38, you are a Microsoft Power Platform Solution Architect capturing requirements for a national retail chain project. The project has the following requirements. Retail employees must use the application on a company provided tablet device. The app must store data offline. Environment capacity must be monitored to ensure usage stays within 80% of available capacity. Apps are shared with security group teams for users to access. You need to identify the project's functional and non-functional requirements. How should you categorize the requirements? To answer, track the appropriate targets to the correct requirements. Each category may be used once, more than once, or not at all. You may need to drag and split bar between pans or scroll to view content. So the categories we have functional and non-functional. So the requirements, so the, let's see the right categories for the requirements are retail employees must use the application on a company provided tablet device. We have functional, the app must store data offline. We have functional, environment capacity must be monitored to ensure usage stays within 80% of available capacity. We have non-functional. Apps are shared with security group teams for users to access. We have non-functional. Question number 39. You are accessing the capabilities of a project for a customer in the education sector. The solution must meet the following requirements. Include curriculum and student management capabilities. Confirm to ongoing Microsoft platform upgrades. Minimize custom coding and configuration. You need to recommend a solution. What should you recommend? And we have four options. Microsoft Power Platform Admin Center, Microsoft 365 Admin Center, Power Apps Portal, App Source. So the right answer here is option C, Power Apps Portal. So question number 40. You are a Microsoft Power Platform Architect gathering solution requirements for a customer. Management uses three different systems to locate asset, inventory, and contract details. Management must view inventory with the ability to select assets and view additional details. Sales representatives have issues locating assets based on specific features in a timely manner when working with customers. You need to prioritize the requirements. Which priority should you use to answer? Select the appropriate options in the answer area. Each correct selection is worth one point. So the requirements are enable sales representatives 
to locate assets in less time we have non-functional and enable management to view inventory and asset details we have functional question number 41 you are a microsoft power platform architect you have identified several project risks you need to categorize potential risks that are specified to your customer how should you categorize the risks to answer drag the appropriate categories to the risk correct risks each category may be used once more than once and not at all you may need to drag the split bar between pans and or scroll to view content so each correct selection is a one point so the categories we have resource risk business risk external risk and security risk so the right categories for the risks are the project requires integration to custom built on-premises systems that store business institute data we have security risk the organization is currently making significant go-to-market strategy adjustments we have business risk the customer has a limited budget in relation to the project requirements we have a resource risk so question number 42 you are designing a microsoft power platform solution that will include multiple applications you have the following requirements support agents managing cases project managers reviewing and updating their projects stock managers managing warehouses new site visitors self-registering employees tracking time entries which three requirements can you meet by implementing role-based applications each correct answer represents a complete solution each correct selection is worth one point so we have five options option a new site visitors self-registering option b support agents managing cases option c stock managers managing warehouses option d staff tracking time entries option e project managers reviewing and updating their projects so the right answer here is option b support agents managing cases and option c stock managers managing warehouses and option e project managers reviewing and updating their projects question number 43 you are a microsoft power platform architect reviewing requirements for an online shopping app you need to identify requirement types for the app how should you categorize the requirements to answer drag the appropriate types to the correct requirements each type may be used once more than once or not at all you may need to drag the split bar between pans or scroll to view content each correct selection is worth one point so the categories we have is functional and non-functional so let's see the right categories for the requirements are the app must automatically send the confirmation email to a customer when they place an order we have functional and credit card numbers must be encrypted we have non-functional question number 44 a legal services organization uses microsoft sharepoint for case management and documentation organization plans to migrate its case data and manual process to the microsoft power platform and microsoft dataverse case data is confidential and is disclosed only to the employees assigned to a case organization has the following requirements lawyers must manage their assigned legal cases and case documentation in one app paralegals must be able to see a lawyer's case details when only when invited by the case lawyer paralegals retain access to the case documentation by using the existing sharepoint permissions you need to identify which components will satisfy the requirements without any custom development which component should you use to answer select the appropriate options in the answer area so the requirements we have lawyer app and paralegal app so the right components are for the lawyer app we have microsoft teams channel app for lawyers only and paralegal app we have canvas app
question number 45 a company plans to integrate microsoft power platform with existing systems including microsoft dynamics 365 home channel for customer service you need to recommend a solution for each requirement which component should you recommend for the requirement to answer drag the appropriate solutions to the correct requirements each solution may be used once more than once and not at all you may need to drag the split bar between pans or scroll to view content the solutions microsoft power virtual agents custom pages the custom api so the right solutions for the requirements are display information about the contact in the omni channel app we have microsoft power virtual agent ensure only tables needed are exposed for integration purpose we have custom api display data hierarchy from other systems within dynamic 365 without saving the data within microsoft dataverse we have custom pages Question number 46, you are designing data loss policies for a Microsoft Power Platform implementation. You have the following requirements. Solutions that use the HTTP connector must not include any other connectors. Prevent the use of the Microsoft Form connector. Allow the use of the Azure DevOps connector. You need to determine in which data policy group to add each connector. To which data policy group should you assign a connector to answer drag the appropriate setting to the correct drop targets each source may be used once more than once and not at all you may need to drag the split bar between pans or sc scroll to view content each correct solution is in the data policy groups we have business non-business blocked so the right data policy group for the connectors are for http connector we have business for azure devops connector we have non-business and microsoft forms connector we have blocked question number 47 you are designing a microsoft power platform solution for a company you have the following requirements users in the human resources department must be able to create tasks users in the human resources department must be able to assign cases to other users you create a table for cases and tasks you need to recommend security settings to the company what should you recommend to answer select the appropriate options in the answer area each correct selection is worth one point so the business requirements we have users in the human resources department must be able to create tasks so the right solution is assign only create rights to activities users in the human resources department must be able to assign cases to other users so the right solution is assign organization level assign rights to the human resources case table question number 48 a company has a list of contacts in a Microsoft Excel file. The company wants to load the contact information into a Microsoft Power Platform solution. You need to recommend a data loading solution. What should you recommend? And we have three options. Use the Excel template feature. Add the contacts to a static worksheet. Use the import from Excel feature. So the right answer here is option A. Use the Excel template feature so import data that's stored somewhere else into your model driven app using the import feature in power apps every table has required columns that must exit exist in your input file it it's recommended that you download an excel template add your data and then import the file to your app the template saves time and effort don't add or modify columns in the template to avoid issues during the import so step one download an excel template to avoid mapping issues it's recommended that you use an excel template that you can download from your app once the template is downloaded add your data and then import the file back to your app remember don't add or modify columns in the template to 
avoid issues during the import process. Import your data, use the template that you downloaded in the previous step and import the file to your app. Question number 49. You are designing the data model for a school. The school wants to track students' enrollment in courses. The system must meet the following requirements. Track the courses in which each student is enrolled. Track the students that are enrolled in each course. Track dates when each student enrolled in each course and the person who approved the enrollment. Allow users to create a report that details which students are enrolled in which courses. You need to recommend a data model that will fit the school's requirements. Which logic, logical model should you re recommend? And we have four, four options. So the right answer is option A. So a table relationship that depends on a special relationship, relationship table, sometimes called an intersect table, so that many rows of one table can be related to many rows of another table. When viewing rows of either table of end-to-end -end relationship, you can see a list of any rows of the other table that are related to it. Question number 50, a company plans to create a Power Apps portal to manage support cases for customers. The company has an account hierarchy for customers. The hierarchy supports accounts, cases and contacts where both contacts and cases belong to their relevant account. The company has the following requirements. Portal users must only see the nodes for the cases that they manage. Portal users must only see cases that are submitted by their colleagues. You need to design the security model for the portal. Which entity permission scope should you use? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Each correct selection is worth one point. So the requirements we have portal. Users must only see the nodes for the cases that they manage. So the right scope is parent. Portal users must only see cases that are submitted by the colleagues. So the right scope is account. Question number 51. A company offers continuing education courses for medical professionals. Each time a course is offered, the company tracks that the session has taken place in an Excel workbook. The company maintains a list of required qualifications for an educator to teach a course. Educator qualifications range from languages spoken to advanced degrees. The company needs the following custom table relationships defined. Associate educators with the list of their professional qualification. Assign a primary educator to each course that is held. Collect information about every course that is held. You need to determine the type of relationship that best fits the requirement. Which type of table relationship should you use? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Each correct selection is worth one point. So the requirements we have, educators must be associated with their qualifications. So the right relationship will be one to many relationship. When a course is held, there must be a primary educator assigned one to many relationship. When a course is held, the company needs to collect information on that session, many to many relationship that uses a custom table. Question number 52. You are designing the security model for a power platform solution. The security model must meet the following requirements. Restrict sharing of data between power automate connectors. Ensure that the environment administrators only see users who require access in the enabled user. You need to recommend security features for the solution. What should you recommend? 
to answer select the appropriate options in the answer area each correct selection is worth one point so the requirements are restrict sharing of data between power automate connectors so the right feature is data loss prevention policy and ensure that environment administrators only see users who require access in the enabled user list we have security group Question number 53, you are designing a database table for a client. You have the following requirements. Maintain a comprehensive list of colors and their corresponding RGB values and hexadecimal values. Prevent the addition of duplicate colors based on the hexadecimal value of the color. You need to recommend a design for the table. Which two actions should the client perform after the table is created? Each correct answer represents part of the solution. So each correct selection is worth one point. So we have four options. Option A, mark the hex value column as a business required. Option B, configure and schedule a recurring bulk record deletion job. Option C, create alternate keys for the table. Option D, mark the RGB value column as business required. So the right answer here is option A mark the hex value column as business required and option c create alternate keys for the table question number 54 a company uses dynamics 365 sales and power bi sales manager must be able to keep track of changes to their pipeline in the following ways notify the sales managers when an opportunity change sales stage Notify the sales manager when pipeline drops below 2.5 million USD. When reviewing the pipeline in Power BI, a sales executive must be able to add a playbook to an opportunity. You need to recommend a solution that meets the company requirements. Which combination of solutions should you recommend? To answer, select the appropriate option in the answer area. Each correct selection is worth one point. So, so let's see the right options for the Notify the sales manager when an opportunity change sales stage. We have Microsoft Power Automate, Microsoft Dataverse Connector, and Microsoft Office 365 Outlook Connector. Notify the sales manager when the pipeline drops below 2.5 million USD. We have Microsoft Power Automate, Power BI Data Alerts, and Microsoft Office 365 Connector. So when reviewing the pipeline in Power BI, a sales executive must be able to add a playbook to an opportunity we have Microsoft Power Automate, Power BI, Power Apps, and Microsoft Dataverse Connector. Question number 55. A company is implementing Dynamics 365 sales. The company has turned off out of the box code calculations in order to implement its own custom calculations. When users update a line item on a quote, they expect to see an updated total for the quote in real time. Users are reporting inconsistent behavior with some aggregations taking up to two hours. You review the system design and notice many asynchronous workflows. You need to recommend a solution to enable the calculation in real time. Which two options should you recommend? Each answer presents a complete solution. Each correct selection is worth one point. And we have four options. Option A, consolidate a synchronous workflow into a single real-time workflow. Option B, consolidate multiple asynchronous workflows into a single asynchronous workflows. Option C, implement a business process flow to replace the existing workflows. Option D, convert the asynchronous workflow to a synchronous plugin. So the right answer here is option A and option D. Question number 56. 
you are designing a model driven app that allows a company to manage sales opportunities the company has a complex security model that includes the following requirements the vice president of sales must be able to see opportunities for sales managers and sales representatives sales managers must be able to see opportunities for all sales representatives sales representative must only see opportunities that they own you need to recommend security tools for controlling user access which two tools should you recommend each correct answer represents part of the solution each correct selection is worth one point and we have four options option a account hierarchy option b field security profile option c position hierarchy and option d security roles so the right answer here is option c position hierarchy and option d security roles so with the position hierarchy security a user at a higher position has access to the records owned by a lower position user or by the team that a user is a member of and to the records that are directly shared to the user on the team that a user is a member of the hierarchy security model is an extension to the earlier security models that use business units security roles sharing and teams it can be used in conjunction with all other existing security models question number 57 a company sells antique books a company stores data about book locations in an existing system by using the following database fields room shelf the company must import the data from their existing system into a power platform solution existing data entry must be modified to match the design of the new solution you need to recommend a solution to combine the room and shelf field into a single column during the import process which tool should you recommend we have four options option a power platform data flows option b data import wizard option c import from csv option d microsoft excel so the right answer here is option c power platform data flows question number 58 a company has a power platform environment that connects to a third party marketing application The company reports that the data in the power platform lead table does not match data from the marketing application. Issues include the owner data in the lead table and the third party application do not match. The topic column has more information than the related record from the marketing application. There are differences in how telephone numbers are formatted. You need to determine which processor are causing the issues. which three process may be causing the differences observed each correct answer represents a complete solution each correct selection is worth one point and we have five options data flow business rule classic workflow power automate cloud flow duplicate detection rule so the right answer here is option a data flow and option c classic workflow and option d power automate cloud flow question number 159 you are supporting the go live process for a company the company is responsible for migrating data to the power platform by using a custom solution the company reports the following issues migration process failed due to operation timeouts records that include lookup columns often fail to load you need to recommend a solution what should you recommend to answer select the appropriate options in answer area each correct selection is worth one point so the issues we have migration process failed due to operation timeouts so the right solution for the issue is increasing multi threading and or batch size setting records that include lookup columns often fail to load So the right solution is ensure you are loading data into tables in a specific order. Question number 
a company wants to add an interactive checklist to a power platform solution to ensure that sales people are following the same steps when qualifying leads you need to recommend a solution that will incorporate this checklist what should you recommend and we have four options microsoft customer voice business process modular task guide dashboards business process flow so the right answer here is option d business process flow so question number 61 a company plans to create a power platform solution that integrates with dynamics 365 sales the solution must meet the following requirements connect directly with the microsoft azure sql database as an external data source at runtime where specific data is available in the dynamic 365 sales solution without the need for data replication an external system needs to send data to the company's dynamic 365 sales solution you need to recommend the most suitable solution to integrate dynamic 365 sales with both systems what should you recommend to answer select the appropriate option in the answer area each correct selection is worth one point so integration requirements have read only visibility of data from an external azure sql database so the right solution is use virtual tables external system sends data to dynamic 365 sales and the right solution is use dynamic 365 web api Question number 62, a company plans to transition from an existing proprietary solution to a power platform solution. The company is consolidating data from several sources. The company reports the following data quality issues with the existing solution. Users often encounter a character limit when entering data. The database includes multiple instances of duplicate records. You need to recommend solutions to ensure that the data quality issues are not present in the power platform solution. What should you recommend? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Each correct selection is worth one point. So the issue, users often encounter a character limit when entering data. So the right solution is define the data type and format for each column. The database includes multiple instances of some records define and implement duplicate detection rules. So question number 63. A company is creating a power platform solution to manage employees. The company has the following requirements. Allow only the human resource manager to change an employee's employment status when an employee is dismissed, allow only approved device types to access the solution and company data. You need to recommend a solution that meets the requirements. What should you recommend? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Each correct selection is worth one point. So the requirements we have, allow only the human resource manager to change an employee's employment status when an employee is dismissed. So the right configuration is field security profile allow only approved device types to access the solution and the company data so the right configuration is compliancy policy question number 64 you are designing tables and columns for a power platform solution. The solution will contain an interactive experience dashboard. You need to ensure that the columns are create, you create can be used as global filters for the dashboard. Which two data types can you use? Each correct answer represents a complete solution. Each correct selection is worth one point. And we have five options. Multi-line text, choice, text, Yes and no or look up. So the right answer here is option B choice. 
and option D, yes and no. With interactive dashboards, a chart uses the color assigned to the categories that make up the different values. Even if the chart is configured to use random colors, when the chart is configured to be grouped by any of the following column types, choice yes and no, status reason. Question number 65, you are designing a power platform solution for a company. Users must be granted access only to data that is relevant to them. You need to recommend actions to meet the requirements. Which two recommendations should you make? Each correct answer represents part of the solution. Each correct selection is worth one point. We have four options. Add column security profiles to applicable teams. Define and configure security roles. Create teams and assign security roles and users to the teams. Create business units and assign security roles to the business units. So the right answer here is option B, define and configure security roles. And option C, create teams and assign security roles and users to the teams. Question number 66, an organization is optimizing its Microsoft Power Platform solution architecture. The optimization needs to address the following. Label names for option sets and multi-select option sets should be added as separate field for reporting. Users complain that when a case is assigned to another user, all the activities are also assigned. Some Power BI reports based on Microsoft data was data need near real-time updating you need to recommend a design solution to meet this requirement so what should you recommend to answer select the appropriate option in the answer area each correct selection is worth one point so the requirements are users report that when a case is assigned to another user all activities are also assigned so the right design for the requirement is for each activity entity relationship set cascading rules to configurable cascading and assign to cascade none. So some Power BI reports based on Microsoft data was data require near real time updates. The right design is create Power BI reports using the Microsoft data was connector. Question number 67. You are designing a Microsoft Power Platform solution for a company that has multiple Microsoft data was environments. You need to prevent specific users for accessing specific environments. What should you do? And we have four options. Option A, remove all security rules from the users of the specific environments. Option B, remove the user from the business unit. Option C, remove the user from all security groups. Option D, remove the user from all teams. So the right answer here is option A, remove all security rules from the users of the specific environments. So Microsoft Dataverse uses a role-based security model to help secure access to the database. Security rules can be used to configure environment-wide access to all resources in the environment. Question number 68, you are designing a model driven app for a hospital. The app will be used to track teams at the hospital including. So we have the following table. You can pause the video to have a look at the table. So you need to recommend the team types to use. Which team types should you recommend? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Each correct selection is worth one point. So the requirements we have cleaning teams, emergency room teams and billing teams. So the right team type will be for the cleaning teams, owner, emergency room teams, access, billing teams, owner.
So that's all in this video, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like the video. Please let me know in the comment section about your feedback. And while going through the question answers, if you think any of the answer is incorrect, please let us know in the comment section with the question number and the right answer and your explanation, please. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep learning.